In today's video, we'll be going over PlayStation Network firmware 6.10. This is the firmware that is bringing with it. PSN name change is a feature that has been wanted for so long, and beta invites for the update are being sent out right now, so check your email. On top of that, a brand new trailer for Spyro the Reignited Trilogy has dropped. That game will be launching next month, and this is yet another fantastic trailer to celebrate the comeback of one of the most iconic video game IPs ever. Also today, we had the launch of the very first DLC to Marvel Spider-Man. It's a pretty significant piece of DLC, so I want to take a look at that. On top of that, while Destiny 2 just had its recent expansion release, ideas for Destiny 3 are apparently being thrown around, and details for a potential Destiny 3 have been leaked online by a Reddit user who has leaked Destiny information in the past. Also, we've got a brand new classic style first person shooter coming to the PlayStation 4 next year, and No Man's Sky has gotten its next significant update detailed. More on that at the end of this video. First, let's talk all about PlayStation Network firmware 6.10, which is bringing with it PSN name changes. This is something so many of us have wanted for a long time. And the beta for firmware 6.10 is being sent right now. So check your emails if you've participated in other firmware beta tests before. Chances are you're going to get into this as well. The beta for this firmware is going to last until the end of November. And if you get in, you should be able to change your name. Everybody will be given one free name change. And then after that, it'll be $9.99 a name change or $4.99 if you are a PlayStation Plus subscriber. If you are not a part of the beta testing, do know that firmware 6.10 6.10 is set to launch at the beginning of next year and that'll bring with it name changes for absolutely everyone and again everyone will have access to that one name change so that is a nice gesture by sony because so many of us made our account maybe eight to ten years ago and i think it's a foregone conclusion that we want to change our name and if everybody dropped ten dollars on that yes sony would have made a ton of money even if everybody was dropping five dollars they would have made a ton of money but the fact that they are giving out a free name change i think that's a nice gesture by them again beta invites are being sent out right now, so go ahead and check your email. Moving on from that, Activision will soon be bringing out Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. This is similar to Crash Bandicoot the Insane Trilogy, but it'll be bringing back the original three Spyro games, very well-received titles. They were all released on the PlayStation 1, and they look to be completely remade. Of course, this includes Spyro the Dragon, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage, and Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon, three games that so many gamers enjoyed back in the day, and if you actually look at the facelift these games are getting, it is pretty incredible, and what's great is, once again, it'll be priced at $39.99. I think that's the perfect pricing for a collection like this, where you do get three games and they are all revamped and they look great, really how a PlayStation 4 game should look. Spyro Reignited Trilogy was originally scheduled for a September release, but then it got pushed back. It will be dropping on November 13th and make sure to have a look at the new launch trailer for yourself. Moving on from that, Marvel Spider-Man has gotten its first piece of DLC in the heist. On top of that, New Game Plus has also been released, but the first chapter of DLC in Marvel Spider-Man The City That Never Sleeps, Marvel Spider-Man The Heist has dropped today. Now, if you do have access to the Season Pass, you will, of course, be getting this, and this chapter includes new missions, enemy suits, and, of course, a new story starring Black Cat herself. While investigating the robbery of a New York art museum, Spider-Man and Mary Jane Watson find themselves closing in on criminal supervillain Felicia Hardy, a.k.a. Black Cat. The chase will take Spidey and MJ deep into Manhattan's shadowy world of crime families. Players will be able to unlock three new suits, including a new original resilient suit designed exclusively for Marvel Spider-Man by famed Marvel illustrator Gabrielle Del Otto. You'll also be able to discover new collectibles and earn trophies from challenges. Marvel Spider-Man has been a very well-received game, and while I have been critical of the fact that I'm not a big fan of games announcing DLC content well before the release of the game, with Marvel Spider-Man, the game was of such high quality, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are eager to delve more into the game because so many of you have gotten the Platinum Trophy. In terms of percentage of people that have gotten the Platinum Trophy, it's one of the higher percentages of any PlayStation 4 game, so a lot of you guys have already 100%ed it, and I'm sure you want to go back in and experience some new content. This is only the first of three DLCs. The other two should be out before the year's over. Tell 
Getting entangled with a known criminal, he should remove himself from the equation entirely. Instead, he's been seen playing with some sort of spider bot, butting into crime scenes, and getting in the way of the fine folks of the PDNY doing actual work. Maybe Spider-Man needs to get his head on straight and focus his talents Moving on from that, while Destiny 2 has gotten a relatively mixed reception, there's no doubt that there is a fan base for the game, and there's no doubt that at some point Bungie and Activision will put out a Destiny 3. A Reddit user Anon the Nine, who has a history with leaking information in regards to Destiny, shared some information about a potential Destiny 3. Here are some of the bullet points. Europa, which was only seen in concept art, will reportedly be a location in the game. Chris Barrett will direct this sequel instead of Luke Smith, who handled Destiny, Rise of Iron, and Destiny 2. Luke Smith is still there in a big role, but he is not the game director. The sequel will also have a bigger focus on RPG elements. It will be more hardcore than the Forsaken expansion. There will be some PvPvE patrol zones, but not like the Division Dark Zone. The development of the game has just started this year, and any hints at Guardians using Darkness, which point towards new subclasses. If you have been somehow living under a rock, Destiny 2 has, of course, had its Forsaken expansion release, and that is available right now across all platforms. It seems like the game is still getting a relatively mixed reception. Some people are just not all too into it, but the game definitely has a core fan base and I'm sure if Destiny 3 did come to fruition and I'm sure that'll happen at some point, it would resonate with at least some gamers. Moving on from that, the PlayStation 4 is getting a brand new classic style first person shooter in Iron Maiden. That'll be coming in 2019 and it's already a part of Steam's early access program. Now this game has a very old school look to it and here are some of the key features the game is touting on full release. The game is said to be the true successor to classic shooters such as Duke Nukem 3D, Shadow Warrior, and Blood. Experience the original build engine on steroids pumped up and ready to rock again after 20 years. Duck, jump, climb, swim, and blast your way through seven exciting zones packed with multiple levels of mayhem. A beautiful game world assembled from thousands of handcrafted textures and sprites, an awe-inspiring arsenal of devastating weapons including multiple ammo types and alternate fire modes. Tri-barreled revolvers, grenade launchers, and heat-seeking smart bombs are your best friends. The classic 90s FPS action you love mesh with modern inventions like locational damage and seamless level transitions. Zero procedural generation, all levels are handmade and full of multiple paths, cool effects, and complex set pieces, and easy access onto the level editor and other development tools on day one. Again, Iron Maiden is set to come to the PlayStation for sometime in 2019, specifically in quarter two. And lastly, No Man's Sky has seen one of the biggest game revitalizations that I've ever seen on par with some MMOs like Final Fantasy XIV. This game really went from nothing to something in the last few years. And now the latest major update for the game has been detailed and here's the official post by Hello Games. We've been listening intently and are hard at work on fixes and improvements. We wanted to share a little news from behind the scenes. Whilst most of the team have been busy on weekly updates, a handful have been working on something else, our first titled update since next. A new free update is releasing next week for all players. We've called it the abyss because it focuses on some of the eerier elements of no man's sky in keeping with the theme of the season so they just announced it and it will be dropping next week so if you're into the no man's sky experience this is something to look forward to especially for the month of october and no man's sky again has just made a gigantic comeback since 2016 its original release the last two years have been really pivotal for the game and while i won't say it's perfect given the fact that you're not paying the original 59.99 price point you can find this game easily for 20 dollars, and it's a far far better game now than it was back in 20. 16, no Man's Sky has really become a compelling experience. Is there work to be done? Of course, but it seems like Hello Games is really committed to the game as an experience. I would love to see VR support for the game at some point because I think No Man's Sky and PSVR would be a match made in heaven. If you've played No Man's Sky, you could just expect it to be really good in VR, and that's something that has been teased, so maybe that'll be coming to fruition, but for now, we do know that No Man's Sky The Abyss will be coming next week. It's a free update for all existing players. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, Sony is sending out invites for PSN firmware 6.10, the beta, that will be including name changes that'll be wrapping up at the end of November. But check your email if you've been a part of beta test before, chances are you'll be a part of this one again. Spyro the Reignited Trilogy has just gotten a new launch trailer again, that drops on November 13th. The first DLC for Marvel Spider-Man and the Heist has launched today, so that's more content for you to delve into. Destiny 3 has had some details leak online, we'll see if all of this comes to fruition, but it does come from a reputable Destiny leaker. Iron Maiden, a classic style first-person shooter, will be hitting the PlayStation 
for in 2019, and No Man's Sky The Abyss, the next major update to No Man's Sky, drops next week. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.